This video will be going over the permitting process for Steuben County, Indiana. We hope to answer questions you may have, such as, what am I allowed to build on my property? Do I need a permit for this home improvement project? What type of permit do I need? How do I go about getting a permit? During this video, I will go through what requires a permit, zoning, types of permits, applications, and the permit process. First, we will go over what projects require a permit. It is pretty obvious that a permit will be needed if you're building a new home. But what about other projects such as adding a deck, building a fence, or installing a pool? Here is a list of what projects will require a permit in Steuben County. The permitting fees can vary depending on what projects you are planning and the size of the construction. Please visit the Steuben County Government website for a full list of permitting fees. The link will be in the video description. Projects that do not require a permit include anything less than 8 inches in height above grade, including slabs and uncovered patios, temporary signs that are on site, such as political and garage sale signs, agricultural fences, cosmetic changes including roofing, siding, and painting, and residential TV towers and satellite dishes. The zoning of your property can also affect several aspects of your construction, including what land uses are allowed, setbacks, lot coverage, square footage requirements, and more. To find your property's zoning in Steuben County for free, you may use Beacon. Your parcel zoning will be shown as the class on the parcel report. The link to the Beacon GIS website is in the video description. You may then use this zoning classification from Beacon to find the appropriate section of the Steuben County Zoning Ordinances on the county government website that apply to your property. If the project you have in mind is outside of the parameters laid out in the zoning ordinances, you can talk with the plan and build department staff about applying for a special exception. They can work with you to go over the process and additional information you may need to provide. There are two different types of permits available in Steuben County, a building permit and an Improvement Location Permit, or an ILP. If you live in city limits or an area controlled by another municipality, known as an Extraterritorial Jurisdiction, or ETJ, you may have to work with that municipality to adhere to their zoning and building requirements. Specifically, the City of Angola issues their own building permits and ILPs. The towns of Hamilton, Fremont, Clear Lake, Orland, and Hudson use the county building ordinances, thus the county issues their building permits but they do have their own zoning ordinances, so they issue their own ILPs. By now you should know whether or not you need a permit and how to verify your zoning to make sure your project is allowable under your zoning district. Next, we will be walking through the application for a permit. If you are using a contractor, they may complete this process on your behalf. In Steuben County, there are several municipal departments that must approve your application in order to issue a building permit or ILP. Your first stop will be the highway department. For construction projects requiring the installation of a new driveway, the highway department will help you through the driveway permit process. Unless you are on a private septic system, your second stop will be to the waste district that oversees your property. Next will be the health department to review any well or septic needs followed by the county surveyor to check the distance to ditches and drainage structures. Then you will finally arrive at the plan and build departments. 
This is the permit application form located on the county's website. The applicant completes the top portion and the city and county departments I just went over will fill in the rest of this form. You will need to submit a detailed site plan and building plan for your application. These will be helpful when approving your septic, grinder, well, setbacks, and other details of your project. Some special circumstances to be aware of will be for those that are building near floodplains and wetlands. Properties located in the flood zone will need to meet specific elevation requirements. A person building in the flood zone will need to get a floodplain analysis regulatory assessment. This establishes the base flood elevation. All construction will need to be two feet above the base flood elevation, which is known as the flood protection grade. If your property contains a wetland, you will have to have the Army Corps of Engineers delineate the wetlands for you. The Steuben County Zoning Ordinance requires a setback of 25 feet from wetlands. Another special circumstance to be aware of is for those in proximity of the airport. If any property is within the first inner rings of their airspace, they will require sign-off from the airport to make sure that their development will not interfere with airport operations. Once you are issued a building permit, construction may begin and the permit must be hung on your site within 24 hours. The inspections needed will be highlighted on the building permit and given to the applicant when the permit is issued. Inspection requests are to be made 24 hours in advance of required inspections, not including the final inspection. Once a project is ready for final inspection, homeowners or contractors can call the building department and let them know. Unlike the other inspections, they do not happen right away. The building department works with the other entities to sign off on the final project. Once it has been signed off on, they call the homeowner or contractor and schedule the final inspection. After the project has passed final inspection, the building department issues a certificate of occupancy. 